Hey everyone, it's Daniel here from InfraVest. Hope you're all doing well. Let's talk about Morgan Stanley. Very interesting article here. It's a little bit old, but I'll put it in the description for you to read up on it. It comes out from Bloomberg. It basically says, Morgan Stanley plans 3,000 more job cuts as deal-making slumps. Okay, so Morgan Stanley is preparing a fresh round of job cuts amid a renewed focus on expenses as recession fears delay a rebound in deal making right fears of the expenses the the recession fears it's don't let's read that again right fresh round of job cuts amid a renewed focus on expenses as recession fears delay a rebound in deal making right recession fears delayed we just lowering our expenses we are cutting jobs don't worry nothing to see here no <laughs> lots to see here, lots to un unravel here, okay? This is big news, right? Morgan Stanley in the banking sector. It's not just, oh, we're cutting our expenses and whatnot. No, there is a problem. There is a problem out there. That's why you're cutting your expenses, aka cutting jobs, right? You're just wording it in a different way, right? We've got the regional bank issues that, that we're seeing right now. That's And we have yet to see also the commercial real estate uh, sector to do more horribly like I said by the end of I believe it's 2024 you're gonna see a lot of these commercial real estate properties um, start to come in in terms of their uh, payments being due and a lot of people probably will not refinance or not be able to pay which means a lot of these offices these commercial real estate offices are going to be under a lot of trouble which means that they can just simply throw the keys hand over the keys to the banks and the banks will have these empty units which they've you know invested so much in right and and, and they'll be underwater on uh, especially as a lot of people are you know not wanting to invest in offices and, and not wanting to deal with the payments there. So no, there's problems. There's definitely problems there, especially when you get Morgan Stanley coming out and cutting 3,000 jobs. So let's go further in this article. Senior managers are discussing plans to eliminate 3,000 jobs from global workforce by the end of this quarter, according to people with knowledge of this matter. That would amount to roughly 5% of the staff, excluding financial advisors and personnel supporting them within the wealth management division, right? Why are you excluding the financial advisors and personnel supporting the wealth management division, right? Because you know, you know there's a turmoil coming. You know the markets are going to turn around. You know things are, you know, going to get worse off. You've seen this before. You've been in business for a long time and you want to make sure that the people in your bank, in the wealth management department are not pulling out, right? What are the instructions that they're giving them? They're giving them that, hey, stick your money in, stay, you know, stick with it. Just, 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 you know, accumulate some cash and, and keep buying, but don't leave, don't leave the business. You got to stick with the business. We're going to go through some turbulence time and uh, don't go, uh, go go to another advisor. Stay with us, right? So obviously you can see here, right, from this paragraph alone that, hey, they're, yeah, cutting off jobs in other areas, but trying to protect their wealth management department so that money's not flowing out. Because remember, the name of the game in wealth management, right, the name of the game is AUM assets under management right so you want to make sure that you have enough AUM and that AUM is not depreci you know depleting so quickly like you're seeing with the deposits of uh, the regional banks where deposits are coming out so quickly with a click click of a button right everything's done on the phones on the apps you don't need to line up at a bank and try to withdraw your money just click click one two three send it off somewhere else they don't want the same thing with their wealth management department that's why they're trying to protect them Okay. Um, the banking and the trading group is expected to shoulder many of the reductions. One of the people said, a spokesman of New York-based uh, Mor uh, Morgan Stanley, which employs about 82% people, declined to comment. Right. So we've seen trading groups, hedge funds also, um, basically uh, trading groups, hedge funds basically fall under a lot of pressure, right, because 
of um, the volatility, the bond volatility that some of these hedge funds had, um, where we had a big spike in, in bond prices and a lot of these hedge funds were short. Uh, you've seen these hedge funds basically lay off their traders because of um, you know the, 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 the poor risk management and the losses that, that were accumulated from that volatile event. So it's no surprise there as well that these traders could be facing some issues uh, when it comes to the layoffs, um, especially in tough times, right? Tough times that are expected to come. The cuts come just months after the, the firm trimmed about 2% of its workforce. Wall Street's biggest banks offered a few reasons for cheer while reporting first quarter results. Don't be fooled by the first quarter results, okay? They don't have the real, um, the real um, true, they don't show the true colors of all of this um, deposit issues that were happening, um, you know, during during March, right? So, so we have yet to see that pain. We have yet to see further continuation of slower growth and whatnot. So again, yeah, it might have been all rosy and good during first quarter, but it, it doesn't end there, right? Let, let's not be confused by that. Um, uh, so going back into this article, saying. It says that while first quarter results were results after seeing their fees from helping companies with takeovers and raising capital, a proxy for economies help health slump over the past year. The Federal Reserve desire to curb inflation through rate hikes and ensuing regional bank, blah, 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 blah. Right. You could read up more on this article. But what I want to say and what I want to what I want to get my message across here is basically the Morgan, Morgan Stanley being in the banking sector, yes, they're seeing deal flow and the, you know, the banking sector is getting worse off, the regional banks. But don't be fooled by, oh, we're cutting jobs, laying off jobs because we're cutting our expenses. Well, because you see something, right? You see something coming down the road and you don't want to disrupt your AUM. So wealth management, don't worry, you're fine. But the other workers, you know, we got to cut trim you off uh, because we see turbulence coming down the road probably soon could be this year and uh, there could be more of this layoffs uh, coming down the road as well right we've also heard other institutions in the financial sector like Deloitte also cut workers right consulting industry Deloitte cutting workers saying that hey there's less growth less demand Everybody's feeling the pinch. It's not just tech. McDonald's, which is considered a safe company, a recession play stock, a stock that does well during the recession times, also laying off workers. Everyone's going to be affected by this. And this is just the beginning. And the fact that Morgan Stanley's cutting jobs, this is just the beginning for Morgan Stanley and many of the banking sector, you will see that more cuts will come, layoffs will, will continue, the unemployment rate is, is soon to increase, the jobless numbers are soon to increase, these numbers are going to get worse off and I'm telling you here over and over again in these videos, see it, hear it in my past videos as well, it's going to come and you're going to see more of this issues in the banking sector start to cascade and grow, especially with the regional banks that we're seeing right now. And we have yet to see also the commercial real estate side of things. And let's not forget that Warren Buffett sold majority of their banks, of his bank stocks, because he was worried of what's to come. And Charlie Munger recently came out and said that, hey, the commercial real estate sector may see some really, really turbulent times coming ahead for the commercial real estate sector. And it's not looking, it's basically not looking good, right? So anyways, you let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the like button, bell icon to be notified on the next video. Subscribe if you like content like this. And I'll see you guys around. Cheers. Bye.